Welcome back. It's time for Wise Guys Wednesday. In three more weeks, the Ingenuity helicopter expected to take off from Mars. And for any helicopter to work, you need air, right? Well, Wise Guy Dave Leak is showing us how the helicopter used will take flight in the next few weeks. Good morning, Dave. How you doing? Good morning. We're doing okay. My my, I'm calm now. You Everything's calm. fine. Peanut kind of calmed me down. Peanut calmed so. you down. Um, you got <laughs> quite the setup there. I know we're going to get to that in just a few minutes. But first, let's talk about ingenuity. Yeah. In fact, the last time I was on, just this past Wednesday, we were waiting on the Mars landing, and it actually happened. Everything went off perfect. And if we could have image number one. This is actually a image from the Mars Reconnaissance Rover, which has been in orbit since 2006. And you can actually see the rover there on a parachute. They're whole, they have whole video of this process now. Image two is uh, looking down from the sky crane. So this is actually lowering Perseverance down to the surface, which is just an amazing feat of engineering. Image three is uh, the first color image that was sent from Jezero Crater. I said it wrong last week. It's Jezero, they say. So it's about a 30-mile wide crater, and here you can see the shadows and and uh, and all that the rocks are there. Image four is a close-up of the wheels, one of the aluminum wheels. You can kind of see what the surface of Mars would look like. Very, very, uh, very, very sandy. And uh, and then image five is as you mentioned is the helicopter. This is the Ingenuity helicopter, and it's about 19 inches tall. It's four pounds, and we have to try to get this thing airborne. It's solar powered. It's going to make about uh, three minute flights, maybe five of them in the next 30 days, and not get any more than maybe 30 feet uh, high because, you know, you've still got some fairly high winds. They now have recordings of some wind gusts on Mars, too. Wow. So that got me thinking as I was making Peanut his bacon this morning, this <laughs> dog just really likes bacon, <laughs> that, that you know, how, the, how this can actually lift off. So I have a, a, a couple of demonstrations quickly to show you that you can do these at home as long as you're careful. And of course, any kind of demonstrations you do, you gotta make sure you have eye protection. Always have <laughs> eye protection for experiments. Now on Mars, it's about half the size of the Earth and the gravity is about one third as much, which means Christy, you could jump a lot higher <laughs> on Mars. A little higher on the moon, but still higher than the Earth, uh, uh, higher than what we have here on the Earth. So about one third the gravity. So that means it's easier to get airborne. However, you got something called air pressure. Here we have air pressure, if you look it up, it's 14 pounds per square inch. Now that, that's a number, like 14, I, what does that mean? Here's what you can do. If you have a bathroom scale, and I, I used to use these, but this one's broken because every time I step on it, the number's way, way, way too high. <laughs> it's too so high. I know it's busted. Your <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> is, <laughs> your thumb is roughly a square inch, not quite, but roughly a square inch. So try this sometime. Only use your thumb and press on this until it gets to 14. And you can do it, but you'll be surprised how much you're actually pushing on the uh, uh, pushing on the scale. That's what your body is experiencing right now. Now we're used to it. We've grown up with it. So, uh, but you know, it's almost like walking through Jello, except it's probably not quite that thick. Here's another way I can show you air pressure too. I have some cans here that, uh, and what I did was fill them with water. So, and I, and I said that wrong, I didn't fill them with water, put a little bit of water at the, uh, in the bottom of it. And I, if I do this, I don't know if you can see this on the air, but there's steam. Mm -hmm. You can see it a little bit. From, can you see a little bit? Okay, so you have to get this so the steam's coming out. Now, what's happened is when you change water to steam, uh, the steam takes up a lot more space. It expands. In fact, I think it's a factor of about 1,600. So uh, as the, the as it goes to steam, everything expands, and, uh, and it's kind of forcing some of the air out. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I have right here a water bath. Now, if you do this at home, just got to be a little bit careful. So all I'm going to do is take one of these cans, and I'm going to turn it upside down in the water. Let's see if I can get it to work. Woo! Ooh. Yeah, let's try Seems like one. it worked. Yeah, it did. How cool. Yeah. Ooh, that was a real good one. <laughs> Be careful now, with that flame there, Dave. Do this, <laughs> these things are cool to the touch. Wow. So you're thinking, wait a minute, look, that, that can is crust. You can do this when you recycle these things. Just do it this way. Is What's happening is the air pressure is like 14 pounds per square inch on the inside and the outside. 
But when we hit, uh, make the steam come out, where we have less air pressure on the inside. When I put this in here, it contracts, and it's the air pressure on the outside that's actually crushing the can. So we can even do this with the big can. Um, I actually found this in the yard. I'm sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know where this came from. But uh, this is actually a bigger can. So we can actually try this too if we can get the steam to come out of it. So see what the ingenuity Kraft has to deal with is it has 47 inch rotors, so bigger than a yard because you're, you don't have as much air, air pressure. It's 1% the air pressure that we have here. We have 14 pounds per square wow. inch. They've got about 0.1. So not as much air density. So that's why you have to have the big rotors even though there's less gravity. So I don't know if we'll have enough time to, uh, well, Dave, as that's, as that's working, I want to ask you about the um, ingenuity a little bit, too, if you don't mind. Um, what sure. are they expecting to, to, to see with this helicopter? Well, right now, we have very, very good satellites in orbit. We just saw your image from the Mars Recon Orbiter. But we're thinking that it's sort of like a little uh, pathfinder for the Perseverance. We'll be able to get up a little higher, be able to chart the way a little bit better, be able to see the boulders and things that we want to avoid and, uh, and, and do that. Plus, you know, just, just to get a bird's eye view of Mars. And let's face it, it's kind of an engineering mission too, because if this works, then we can maybe send bigger and better things there. So we, we have to see if this works. I'm a little worried about the winds that they have there, but uh, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. You want to see if we can make this one? Yeah, let's do it. We'll see how, we'll see how loud we can make this one. Ooh, it worked. It works. So see, air pressure at work. Try this at home, but be very, very careful. If, if your kid's watching you, make sure you have mom and dad because you do have to have a, a burner. This works with gas. It actually works a little better if you have an electric stove. Perfect. All right. I love some experiment, experiments you can do at home. Thanks, Dave. Good to there see you. There you go. As always. See you later. Bye-bye. Jack's got your forecast right after this. We'll be right back.